Now one more thing, I, I like bananas too, I love, love part of my banana here. It's a ripe banana, but it's still good, you know. I mean, sure the skin might be brown, but look, the banana's still good. Mm. Hey, get your vitamin C. And bananas are good for you, they have fiber. It's good to have like one piece of fruit a day, a banana, an orange, or an apple. Or have some apple sauce. And if you have like acid reflux like I, I used to have, make sure you get your fiber. Get some, double up in the vegetables. If you're not eating many vegetables, have like one extra helping, have like two helpings of vegetables a day. And um, you can eat meat and get some like oatmeal. Have like a bowl of oatmeal every day because that soaks up the fat and it soaks up like the, you know, if you have too much grease in your stomach or whatever. I, I just know, all I know is I ate oatmeal like every morning when I had acid reflux or I have a couple granola bars a day. And I, instead of having one helping of vegetables, I have like two helping of vegetables. And I switched from coffee and I started drinking tea every day for like eight months. I gave up. I had like a little cup, a dinky little sample cup at the store. Like, well, that cup, about three ounces of coffee a day, four ounces, that's it. And once in a while, I'd have a cup, a full cup. But usually I drank tea. No hot sauce for eight months and no spicy foods. No, no lasagna, no spaghetti, no red sauce for like eight months. No carbonated beverages, no beer. No alcohol beverages. Now, at the community at church, that little thing, I had that. But I didn't, go, I didn't go to the bars, didn't go drinking beers and stuff for eight months. No spicy food for eight months, you know. And I had like a bowl of oatmeal or a, granola, a couple of granola bars every day. And I doubled up in the vegetables and I mostly drank tea. And I put a little honey in there because that's good for your stomach. And I'd have like maybe one cup of yogurt a day. See, that's got the good bacteria that's good for your stomach. And my body just healed itself. And I drank more water. I, I wasn't drinking much water, so I was drinking at least a couple glasses of water a day in addition to drinking tea and the other and that. And, um, you know, I drank hot soup, made sure I got my vegetables, you know. But, um, you know, I can still eat meat, but no hot sauce for like eight months. And, and I got healed of that acid reflux. And I'd have like one piece of fruit a day, a banana or an apple or applesauce is good. It's got fiber. And that, acid, and that acid reflux just went away. I didn't need the pills. My body healed itself. See, a lot of times you're sick because you're not eating right. You're not getting enough of the right food. That, you shouldn't starve yourself. You need to eat good foods. You need to add some good foods to your diet. That's dieting, not giving up everything. Because you don't want to starve your body. you got to feed your body. you got to feed it the nutrients it needs. So many people don't eat enough. You need to eat more good food. And if you eat enough good food, you know, your body can heal itself. Yeah, and a banana is good for healing almost everything. Or an apple. They say an apple a day keeps a doctor away. So you guys need to do that. So have a banana, banana or an apple every day. Mm. Or an orange, yeah. Okay, cut this perfect.